Welcome to Model Horse Tax School. My name is Carrie, and today we're going to do a crouper for the Australian stock saddle set. Now, this is more of a saddle type crupper, it's not a harness type. You notice if you've seen croupers, this one is a little different. We're going to do this because it fits the supplies that I want to use. I measured around the tail, so this is for around the tail. And would also buckle and there's a little extra because I'm going to have to use uh, a needle on it and then this is my already treated um, cord you, you can find this uh, Walmart still has it it's a braiding type of cord but it is a cord which means uh, you have to remove the center uh, thread and when you do then you end up with something that you can actually stick a needle through like that and then we'll go ahead and um, I've already treated the edges of my uh, skinny ribbon lace here with glue so that they won't fray that's kind of important and then we're just gonna work this on like that so now that's the covering for our uh, crimper and I'm gonna go ahead and glue these edges here um, just to make sure they don't fray. Okay, I found a breakdown on the web of this particular crupper. And if you notice, it's got three straps. And this one here is the tail strap. So we're working on that. It's got a ring here. And now we're gonna look at uh, this one here. This is a long, 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 this is the A strap, right? It's got, uh, here we go, it's got a hook and then keeper and then lovely little holes that I'm not gonna put in there. And then it slips into a buckle. What I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna go ahead and add my buck or my hook. And then this here is going to be a little bit longer. One of them, the bottom one, will be a little bit longer because it's going to attach to the ring there. So, but I, what I will do is I'm going to put one keeper, and I'm going to make a sliding keeper. That means I fold it over, and then I glue it to itself, and that way it can move because I'm going to have to fit this after we get it made. I'm going to go ahead and put this um, to a point. Like I said, I treated it with some glue. Or you could use uh, fray check if you want, but glue works. I mean, that's really what fray check is, is glue. Okay, so now, I think this is set up enough. And I can trim away the excess. And I'll go ahead and glue this longer one. Okay. Now we need the buckle strap, and that's your B strap. But the important thing we need is to make sure we have a buckle. So this is our adjustment. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna attach our buckle strap and it's gonna go through here. And I am going to glue it basically on both sides, but I want it so it can still lift up. So I buckled it up, and now I need a fixed keeper right behind the buckle. There you go, took no time at all. And I'll go ahead and put that onto the model and I will then um, adjust it to size. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate that very much. Please like, subscribe, leave comments, um, tell everybody who makes tack that you know so that we can get the viewership up. And you guys have yourself a really good day. Mm -hmm.